Remember that you are... Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it, blast, that's loud. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size. Whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. 
You're a talented scientist, after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. What's on your mind? Never know what being frozen did to your brain. There's always a chance you might turn violent. I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Absolutely. Let's talk. Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony. And we've all been conditioned to total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. People who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life. So to speak, no offense. Precisely. The chemical I need is dimethyl sulfoxide, a rare, potent, essential to reviving long frozen bodies. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. <laughs> Get it? We'll do our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. at the groundbreaker. Had a moment to look in. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. 
The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Chief Jun Lei Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed and she took the helm. She... Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think... Go right ahead, sweetheart. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweetheart. Gladys can get you a snack if you're hungry. Mm -hmm. I'll keep quiet. What do you think you're doing? Did I hear something? I think I heard on. some. What? Best make yourself scarce now. Here they come! Got it? Inside voices. <laughs> Feels like the AC finally kicked in. I would. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular. 
quite catch that uh glass ear sorry there, there's a lot of static nothing to fear uh, sorry again the sound of groundbreakers engines has really got to me over the years huh what huh now that fine as long as the board chief tennyson holds the ship together the promenade our chief tennyson has an independent streak same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the there's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a de She freely admits she This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate capital from the day Talk to your local manager about applying for military training. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Straight to the point, eh? Oh, a little of I also need What about non-famous players? You do have a fa but that's not what you wanted to talk. Anytime, sweet. Gracious. I was just sitting. I've got a lot.
It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Anytime, sweetheart. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Orbit above Roseway, Captain. We gotta talk. Don't they have anybody to greet arrivals? For paperwork or ticketing or whatever? Captain, something bit them. 
something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. Thank <laughs> you. 
aggressive as always. Captain, we ought to go places like this more. Why they have to be left so damn far away? I guess the trek alone is meant to detour the curious.
You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? I'm doing what I'm paid for, and not a bit beyond that. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. Yeah, Cassandra O'Malley. We mostly call her Cass, because Cassandra just sounds fancy. I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Oh, well, figured it couldn't hurt to ask. Hey, I ain't inclined to stop you. Stay clear of my team's business, we'll get along fine.
Wow. We're not. I have your back, Captain. Incoming! You! Over here! Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Clio Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I... You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. I'll help however I can. Take your time. <laughs> 